Hola chicas, buenos dias. Okay, so I told you guys I was gonna go over progressives with you guys today. So we are going to talk about present and past progressives um, and then specifically with weather. So before I get too deep into it, when we're dealing with weather, you only use the he or she form of a star because um, because the weather is considered singular, okay? Um, I am gonna go over the other forms so you're able to use this um, with any of your infinitives. So like I am running, she is eating, they are shopping, okay? Pretty much anything you'll be able to do it with. But I am going to put emphasis on um, the weather for our quiz that we'll have later on in the unit. Okay, so the different forms of a star, yo, estoy, tu, estás, el, ella, usted, está, Nosotros estamos and ellos, ellas, ustedes, esta. Okay, so make sure you guys have that in your notes. Ooh. Lo siento. I didn't realize when I had the camera flip that way, it turns it around. Okay, so that is what I want you to have in your notes so far. If you need to pause the video, go ahead so that you can get all that written down. Okay. <clears throat> so, after you have this, which directly translates to I am, you are, he or she is, we are, and they are, then you have to make the, give the word the ing at the end. So, I'm going to use an example from the past. Okay, so an AR example that we've used in the past would be not are. Okay. Now, when you're in, in, in Spanish, instead of ing, we use for AR verbs ando at the end. So, it's a n d o. So, if I wanted to say I am swimming, it'd be yo estoy. You take that AR off, so it'd be nadando. Okay, and you do that all the way down. It's the same word for all of them. There's no no changing that. So it'd be yo estoy nadando, tu estás nadando, el ella usted um, nadando. You do that all the way down. Okay, for ER and IR, it's the same ending for ING. So both ER and IR verbs. So an example, comer. Instead of ando, you put yendo at the end. So comiendo. That's all the way down. And if I were to do that with vivir, to live, it'd be yendo at the end as well. So viviendo. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys closer to that. So if you need to get that down, you can. Okay. Okay, if you need to pause it, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and erase this stuff so I can continue. So this is the present progressive. So if you're speaking in the present tense, so right now I am eating. 
Okay, right now I am running. And quite literally, right now I am teaching. Okay? So, with the present progressive, when it comes to weather, you can only use the he or she form. So, instead of saying L or A at the beginning, just say esta. Okay? Because it's a singular word. Okay? And we're just going to use any of the verbs that you guys have. So we'll just go ahead and go with llover, which is to rain. So we have llover. Now to change that, to go with um, your ing words, you would take that er away. And you would just add yendo to the end. Okay, so you can do that with any of your verbs. And that would translate to it is raining. So let's go ahead and do an air one. So we'll do nevar, so snow. So if I want to just say it is snowing. Está nevando. And it does not get any more difficult than that when it comes to the progressives. Okay? There's not your regulars. So if you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and go to your verbs on your note sheet that you should have taken home with you and try to change them to the present progressive. So, esta nevando and esta lloviendo, we did together, but go ahead and try. There's like three or four more on there. Go ahead and try them. Okay, pause the video if you need to um, so that you can do that. And then in class, we can go over that on Monday if you guys have questions about it. So the only other thing that I'm going to go over with you guys today is the past progressive. So we talked in the present, so this is just going to say like yesterday it was raining. So instead of the present tense for a star... We're going to do the imperfect. Okay, so with ing terms, you use the imperfect, which is like aba and ia on the end. Okay, so I'm only talking to you guys about the, the past progressive right now. So we have yo estaba. To Stavas El Ea Usted Stava Nosotros Stavamos and Eos Eas. Ustedes estaban. Okay, so just to make sure you have that, if you need to pause the video to get this written down, go ahead. And then all you do is the exact same thing we've already done. So, for AR verbs, like nevar, you put nevando all the way down. So, for yovisnar, you would do yovisnando. Okay, and then... For the ERs, 
So ER rear, I'm gonna put under it. Lloviendo. Okay, and that's for every one of them. So está lloviendo, estaba lloviendo. Okay, now remember when dealing, you can do uh, the past progressive with any of your verbs. So if I wanted to say I was living in Ohio, the example would be yo estaba viviendo in Ohio. Okay, so you can use this with any of your old vocab. Okay. But we're concentrating on weather for this unit, which is a whole lot easier because the only of these that you actually have to remember is this one. Estaba. Okay. So, estaba nevando, estaba lloviznando, estaba uh, lloviendo. Okay, you only have to remember those for this unit. I go over the rest of it because we need to know that as well. Plus, um, we're going to put a couple of those in your quiz. Okay, because I do need to make sure you know all the progressives. But for your project and the majority of the quiz, we are just going to be talking about weather. Okay, weather terms. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on either Remind, email, call the school, come in, I don't care. Um, just try it on your own. Um, I also uploaded a worksheet for you guys to do. It does not have to do with the progressives. It's just a quick practice on your uh, vocabulary. I also handed you a vocab sheet that has hace frío, hace calor. It talks to you about times that you use hace, okay, which is more memorization than anything else. So we will talk about that a little more in class, um, but, but we do need to know how to say like it is snowing, it was snowing, and it is cold, it is hot, which there's two different ways to do that. Okay, like I said, the hace. Um, the ones that I need you to memorize are on that uh, vocab worksheet that I handed you yesterday that goes along with the practice you're going to do today. And then the progressives right here. I also um, am sending a Google Doc with just a couple practice problems with progressives. Okay, so everybody have a great fiend de semana and I hope this was not too bad.